but the heat is turning up for him. First tonight, there's a call for him to make himself available to learn whether it's him or not on those recently released audio recordings with controversial statements. Well, now the Secretary of State is asking tough questions. Let's go to Rod Maloney right now. Rod, you've got the story. Yeah, Kim, you know, it's a situation where he's fighting on two fronts. Jim Fouts has long been a political power in Warren. He has worked hard to keep it that way. Secretary of State is taking a dim view of some of his fundraising tactics. And then, of course, there is the audio scandal. You know, blacks do look like chimpanzees. Is the voice behind these comments Jim Fouts or not? He says it's not. I'd like to get the original recordings or a clone of the original recordings. An expert often hired to determine such things in court, Ed Primo, can't say. I'd like to get the other original recordings that came out about a month ago with the other derogatory remarks and comments and cooperation from Mayor Fouts to be able to create an exemplar, which is a sample of his voice. What he's looking for is enough sound that his computer software could make a scientific comparison or what's known as the oral spectrum method test. I think the public deserves to know. I think the truth needs to come out here, whether it's him or not. In the meantime, Fouts received a letter from the Secretary of State's office. It stems from a complaint by political activist Leon Drolet, who claims Fouts fundraising during his State of the City last year is suspect. They put flyers promoting their fundraiser into every water bill that went out in the city of Warren. It reads the department concludes that the evidence supports a reason to believe that a violation has occurred and ask questions of the mayor to provide the amount spent on the design, printing, maintaining, and any other distribution of this insert and who paid this amount. This is about him taking tax dollars intended for a public purpose and using it for his political purposes. Now, the Secretary of State asked another dozen very difficult, tough questions of the mayor. They're expecting an answer. We'll see how that goes. In the meantime, Gus Gannam, who was an appointee of Fouts, was the person who had the original complaint filed against him. And in fact, one of the lines in that letter we showed you uh, was to him, and there was a separate letter to the mayor. Now, what we're seeing here is that Gus Gannam is saying that he didn't do anything wrong. He did have to pay a $500 fine for a minor uh, violation. But now he says he's going to go after Drolette in court for a frivolous complaint. So it continues in the city of Warren. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.